you've spent plenty of time boiling their evil plans. Maybe it's time they got their go as the star of the show. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game villains that deserve their own game. No respect. For this list, we're taking a look at the bad guys who still have much of their backstory to be revealed, and whose character would be a worthwhile exploration as part of their existing lore. Their traits may even lend themselves to creating new gameplay mechanics that could take their franchise in a different direction. Some of these entries do have spoilers, so be warned. Number 10, Ganondorf, The Legend of Zelda series. <laughs> For an antagonist whose presence is felt through every single game in the fantasy adventure series, we know very little about the King of Gerudo. All we've learned is that he's the only male of his species, is the reincarnation of the demon Demise, and believes his fate is to relentlessly seek dominion for his people. That's a pretty darn barren backstory for an arch-villain of one of the most influential franchises ever. But think about this, since he's always trying to get that Triforce, just like Link, a Ganondorf game wouldn't necessarily have to be radically different from a gameplay perspective, except this time he'd be working to lock up the Seven Sages and all that jazz. Number 9, Vile, Mega Man X series. X, why does it have to be you? We've already had a chance to play as the Boba Fett lookalike in the Vile mode of Maverick Hunter X, but a proper game could allow us to see more about this reploid who takes orders from nobody. I'd love to stay and play, boys, but I'm afraid I have too much work to do. <laughs> He despises Mega Man X as he believes he's the most powerful warrior in the world, and his utter lack of restraint in hurting others is in stark contrast to the Goody Two Shoes X. We'd love to see his tumultuous time as a Maverick Hunter, and, as his name might suggest, we might be in for some pretty vile fighting. How nice to see you again, X. Vile! Number 8, Handsome Jack, Borderlands series. Hey, you're right on time. Even when Jack's meant to be dead, you can't keep him out of the action of this sci-fi adventure series. In Tales of Borderlands, his consciousness manifests as a hologram, but he has lost none of his trademark wit and desire to dominate Pandora. I can't believe it. What, that you're finally in charge? Don't be surprised, kid. He's also lost none of his delusion, as he still believes that he's somehow the hero by trying to wipe out a large portion of Pandora's population. Hey, maybe he's right and we just need to see it from his perspective. <laughs> I can't wait! <laughs> now that his mind is floating around somewhere in the ether, there's no limit to where he might go as a character. You're a murderer. Hey, subjective. But you know what's not subjective is that you need me to get off this frickin' space station. Number seven, Voss Montenegro, Far Cry 3. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? When you're neither the main antagonist nor the protagonist of the game, and you're still the biggest image on the cover art, you know your character is doing something right. Hello. <laughs> and welcome to my show. Today we do our first torture. The developers of this FPS managed to create a sociopath that defied the stereotypical brutish henchman, and instead made a pirate lord who had some of the best moments in video gaming ever. So they say to me, they say, Voss, Voss, who the f is it going to be them or me? Me or them? His iconic insanity monologue gave a small insight into the tortured psyche of the man. And we've mentioned this before, but we'd love to be behind the scenes as his earlier life of crime rapidly becomes his greatest pleasure. No. With more emotion, you can do it, honey. Come on. Number six, The Aliens, XCOM series. These beings from outer space are your main adversaries in a sci-fi series that has spanned a number of genres, and their motivations could be considered as more interesting than that of the humans. In between the rebooted Enemy Unknown and XCOM 2, the aliens won the war, and by the events of the second game have taken over the planet. So the player could potentially be in control of their campaign to conquer Earth. You could research the ultimate psionic warrior, build shimmering new cities, and stamp out the last remnants of Earth's resistance. We had such hope for you. XCOM 2 left many unanswered questions, and this prequel could reveal what the alien elders were trying to hide. 
Number 5. Wolf O'Donnell and the Star Wolf Team Star Fox Series That's as far as you go, Star Fox. I do hope you like our new toys. So many of the good characters of this series are seen as sweet but relatively simple, so the gruff ex-space pirate with a troubled past might make for a more complex protagonist. You'll be seeing your dad soon, Fox. Fox is clearly familiar with Star Wolf when players first meet him, but we know nothing about their history together. It feels like there is something Nintendo isn't telling us about the leader of Star Wolf team, and fans would probably want to know what it is. In recent games, he has moved more into anti-hero territory, and even if he is good at heart, his villainous history remains nonetheless intriguing. What are you doing here? You're the one who dropped in unannounced. And if anyone's gonna tan your hide, it's gonna be me. Number 4. Sephiroth. Final Fantasy VII. If you know your gaming, you probably know how much of a huge fan following this guy has. This genetically engineered super soldier with iconic hair and an oversized katana fits the bill very well for a spin-off. We seek it thus, and take to the sky. Aside from his iconic image, he is hugely popular, as his reasons for turning evil are incredibly relatable. He had been misled about his origins and used by the Shinra Corporation all his life for their own personal gain. You can't blame him for turning a little loopy, am I right? She's a monster. <laughs> His full capacities aren't even known, so the best way to find out is surely for him to have his own game. Number 3. Frank Fontaine Bioshock Series So I guess I owe you a little honesty. The name's Frank Fontaine. Once you realize how much of a hand this con man had in facilitating the events of the game, you'll be desperate to see it all for yourself. Prior to faking his death and becoming Atlas, he was fighting Andrew Ryan for control of Rapture, creating the Little Sisters and even kindly manipulating Jack, the protagonist of the first game. Well, there's more than one way to fry an egg. The very best con artists need a seriously long game, and this master schemer has been laying plans for his benefit ever since he was a wee con kid. There ain't no Atlas kid. Number 2. Bowser Super Mario Series We've had plenty of opportunities to play tennis and golf with the King Koopa, but it is high time that this fan favorite did something other than just kidnap Princess Peach. Almost every other main character has had their own title, so it seems very odd that the main villain of the series has yet to have the opportunity to create his own tale. After so many of his schemes have been foiled by Mario and his pals, it only seems fair that Big B has a change of fortune and scores at least one win over the mustachioed plumber. Before we reveal our top pick, let's have a look at some honorable mentions. Not bad. Not every man gets to know the price on his hand. Number one, Liquid Snake, Metal Gear series. I won't die as long as you still live. Even before he hit his teens, this big boss clone was leading a group of child soldiers in Africa and giving Venom Snake a run for his money in the Phantom Pain. Eventually, he escaped with Metal Gear Solanthropus, and then, well, there's a 10 year gap between then and the first Metal Gear Solid game. There aren't too many details about his decade-long hiatus, although we do know that he was in the SAS and eventually ended up with the US government. But everything else about Solid Snake's twin is a mystery. Stupid woman, falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. Big Boss's story has now pretty much run its course, so it's time to let us see more of Liquid's helicopter piloting badassery. Are you ready now, my brother? Why are you calling me brother? Who the hell are you? I'm you. Do you agree with our list? I don't know what I ever saw in you. You're nuts. Which criminal mastermind have you always wanted to play as? That's right. For more villainous top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Playtime is over, Star Fox.